Hi, my name is Henry, and uh, so I'll be talking about uh, the top five uh, plugins for WooCommerce. I didn't expect that Sean is going to talk about 10. <laughs> now mine looks like very little. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get started. Okay, so uh, I saw some of you uh, take photos. It's fine, uh, but actually I'll be you know giving out the the PowerPoint slides uh, for free later on. So uh, I'll give you all the link and then you can download it. Uh, so you know, try you you guys can take notes, but you know, don't don't copy everything because uh, you get the PowerPoint anyway. So try to focus, and you know, uh, that way you can learn better. And then of course uh, there'll be a bonus at the end, right? So uh, stay sharp. <laughs> okay, so about myself, I'm Henry. Okay, and uh, I've been doing e-commerce for about five years now. Okay. And uh, I've sold on multiple e-commerce platforms such as uh, e Amazon, eBay, Kuten, Lazada, Carousel, and Shopee. Uh, but honestly, you know, the one that I feel most at home, it is uh, WooCommerce, <laughs> right? Okay, so I run a self figures uh, company with close to about 20 people on my team. And uh, I'm just a regular guy, right? <laughs> just like every one of you. And... The only difference is that I'm really passionate, you know, about e-commerce and about WooCommerce, and you know, I really have to thank, you know, like the the the, uh, the creators of uh, WordPress for putting in something so simple uh, for everybody to use, and it's open source, and everybody can contribute to this community, right? So, uh, what I'm going to talk about, you know, the top. Uh, benefits. Uh, I I'm a bit different from uh, the the other people that you see in in, in the WordPress uh, team here, right? I'm more of a marketer. So if you are here to learn about you know how to uh, get more traffic, get more sales, and things like that, uh, I'm probably the guy you want to speak to. But if you want to talk about like uh, developing your own site and all that, I think Shan is way better than me in that. Okay. And then, uh, so you, what you get is uh, with these five plugins, right? You get uh, more leads to your website, uh, get more sales, and also the last one is actually to build stronger credibility. Okay, how many of you thinks that you know if more people trust you, you get more sales? All right, awesome. Okay, let's move forward. So the first one I want to talk about is Wu Enhancer. So Wu Enhancer is you know, all of this that I'm going to talk about is all free. Okay, so one of the awesome part is this is free, and uh, what it does, it, it disables uh, checkout fields that are not very important. Okay, so if let's say you would buy something from a website, okay, and then you have to fill in like a uh, company, you know, is that important? Right? You don't you don't need to tell the courier, hey, you know, send this to this company, right? It, you know, they could probably put it in the names field or something like that. Do you need, like, if you're ordering from a Singapore uh, website, do you need to put the country or the state or the city? You don't need things like that, right? So what you can do with Wu Enhancer is you get rid of all these checkout fields that is not important. So when there's less things for your customers to fill up, they can quickly pay the money to you faster. Am I right? And that's what, all, that's what everybody wants, right? Okay? And the next thing is that it disables the password strength meter. Okay? So it allows simple passwords. Okay? So you don't have to put like, like uh, you know, like a lot of text, uh, and, you know, capitals and, and uh, small letters and then uh, some funny symbols and all that just to have an account created. Okay, and we want the customer to create an account on our website, right? Because then they will come back to us. They will come back. Uh, they will give us their email, and then they will come back to us uh, uh, again and again. Am I right? Uh, and then we already save all their uh, shipping information and all that. So the next time they check out again, it's even faster. All right. So this is how it looks like. Uh, I I'm not going to show the other fields uh, that they, they, what this plugin can do. It can actually do more than that. It can uh, do some customization on your product page and shop page and all that. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to show you how it works. Uh, if you go to like the checkout page, you can, all you need to do is just to 
take you see like like first name right do you need first name and last name mm. why not you just put name right so you take away last name and then you change first name you can change it to name instead that's way faster right and then address one and address two do you need so many addresses no take away right city take it out you know that's what you what all you have to do with uh, the wu and the answer and then uh, the next one is uh, the this uh, password strength meter so you just set it to yes or no right so uh, of course we want to disable it right we will put yes on it okay and then the next one i'm going to talk about is the if uh, wu commas questions and answer how many of you have shopped on amazon before okay so other than the reviews right that you see on amazon what else actually make you feel uh you know this product looks like it's good you know maybe i should buy it what what is it picture right other than picture other than videos Q &A. right it's the q a right so you can ask questions about the product itself okay and then anybody can answer the question so maybe uh, it's a t-shirt you know then the question is like, do you have the size in XXXXL or something like that? Okay, then somebody can come in and say, it could be anybody, it could be the ones who are selling the product, or it could be anybody who has bought the product before, they could chime in and say, you know, uh, they don't have this size available, right? And why is this good? Okay, because uh, it's a term here, right? It's called user-generated content. Okay, user generated content means anybody you know creates this content. It's not we put up that content itself. Okay, and that shows that there's activity on your website and people are you know on your website. People are buying from you, and and that's that's why they feel more comfortable. They feel uh, more trustworthy that they want to buy from you. Am I right? Okay, so that's what uh, Yif uh, questions and answer does. Okay, so it's free as well, and it allows customers to ask questions. And it shows questions to cast, uh, to visitors, right? And uh, yeah, that's what it is, right? More social proof, right? Higher conversion rate for purchases, okay? So this is how it looks like, okay? So uh, you have a tab that says question and answers, and then you can ask a question, and then people can answer it. But how many of you want a tip here? Right? I, Nobody wants a tip. <laughs> okay. What you want to do, right, is uh, how many of you uh, are e-commerce, uh, have an e-commerce business here? Okay. So uh, you sell on Carousel and Shopee and all that, right? Okay. So do, you, do, do customers ask you questions from there? Yes. Okay. So can you take those questions and put it onto your website? Yes. And then can you answer yourself? Yes. <laughs> can, right? So you can put up the first wave of uh, information up on your website yourself first, right? And then it will kickstart the activity. You will kickstart uh, people asking you more questions and then you start answering them and then, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot more activity going on, right? And then uh, people will trust you better, okay? So the next one is called Sales Pop by Bikiting. So let me go into that. Okay, I won't talk so much about it first. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it is also free, right? How many of you feel like, like feel happy, you know, free? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so this is awesome, right? I, I, I really love this plugin. I'll show you what it does later on. So basically, it is a show, uh, social proof, okay, for other customers, right, to purchase from your store, okay? And I'll show you how it looks like. So when there's social proof, let's say if your uh, face, maybe your Instagram page has like uh, 10,000 uh, followers, you know, and then you were to sell something on your Instagram page, you get more sales, right? Because why? It's called social proof, correct? So this is, uh, is this, uh, so social proofs uh, creates trust in people. Okay, so that's why we want to leverage on this tool itself. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You see this, this one on the bottom left here? Okay, it pops up and says, uh, somebody in Hanoi 
just bought a cute puppy named Socks, five pairs. Okay, maybe and then maybe it pops up uh, somebody else uh, it says uh, Shan bought a T-shirt, right? Shan from Singapore just bought a T-shirt, right? So it pops up uh, every now and then, okay, and it makes you feel like oh, actually there are other people in this website as well. Do you all remember about ten years ago? You go to a website and then you see like at the at the bottom of the page you see like all these numbers that says visitor counts, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so th this is like a much yeah. updated uh, version of it, okay? And it also shows you, uh, sorry, so it also shows you, uh, you know, how, uh, sorry, uh, like what, what are the products that is uh, being bought by other people and then people see this and then, eh, I might consider getting this as well, right? So, okay, so I have, I, I'm supposed to have a slide before this. Let me see if I, is it, did I jumble up the order? Oops, just give me a moment. Okay, uh, so sorry. I am supposed to have a slide before this, but it's not showing. Okay, never mind, I will just talk, right? Okay, so the next plugin is called Customer Reviews by WooCommerce, sorry, uh, customer reviews for WooCommerce, okay? And what the plugin does, okay? So this is actually a, a Google search result for, for one of my products on my store itself. Okay, my store is called uh, Senior Care. So we sell like elderly products. And this is, you know, how many of you think that if Google tells people that, hey, there's a lot of people uh, rating this product, it's 4.5 stars. There's 30 over reviews, you know. How many of you think that more people will actually click in to your website, to the product page, and buy from you, right? Okay, so this is actually what you want to strive for, okay? So what uh, this, this plugin does, okay, because I don't have the slides, uh, I'm gonna show you what it does. It basically sends a customer, let's say if they buy something from you, okay, and then, a uh, couple of days later, you can set like maybe five days or, or seven days later. After you complete the order, that means you, you send out the order already. And then five days later, you, uh, you know, the customer receives this email like this, okay? Like, hi Jane, thank you for shopping with us, okay? And then, you know, you ask them for a review, okay? So if they don't open the email or they, they, do, they didn't leave a review, you can set another maybe two days and then it reminds the customer again. So that will help you get more reviews, right? Okay. And the best thing is, sorry, it's a bit small here. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm just going to explain it. So what this does is, do you sometimes have customers that buy multiple items from you? Maybe they buy a t-shirt and then they buy a, a, you know, maybe a hat. Maybe they, they buy some uh, year starts or something like that, you know. And then you have uh, you have like three different products, okay. And then isn't it very uh, difficult for the customer? Is it very very troublesome, a hassle, right? For the customer to review every single product one by one, they have to go to every single product page and then start reviewing, okay. So what this does, it, it condenses everything. It puts them into a simple web survey that they can just click. Uh, one or five, you know, and then any comments, you know, they can even upload photos of the what they bought. Okay, so you know this this makes it easier for the customer to review, right? And wouldn't that help you get more reviews, right? And the next thing is uh, you can also uh, entice them. You know, uh, there's a coupon. You know, you you leave a review. Okay, and then we we'll give you a coupon, give you a, a maybe a three dollars or five dollars off, with ten percent off uh, discount off your next order, right? You bribe them, okay, and to get more reviews, right? Okay, and the best thing is uh, another thing is that uh, it allows you to vote on the review itself. 
So if it's not a useful review, you know, uh, you can downvote it, like click no uh, or yes, right? So this is this is this is very similar to to Amazon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you you get like uh, Amazon like features yeah. on your website. Okay, and then the next one is uh, you can put all you can create a page, right? And say this is like all all your reviews, okay? And then you just put in a, a, a short code on the page itself, and then it will show everything, all the reviews that have been made on your website into one single page. Okay, so this is how the back end looks like. Okay, so I don't think I want to go too much into it. Let me see if there's anything to cover here. Yeah, okay, and the best thing is that you can, you see on the top right there, right? You can customize the email that goes out to the customers. Okay, so you can decorate the email whichever way you want. Is it for to generate the coupon card? Okay, so uh, let me think because it's been a while since I used it. Uh, I believe. Let me take a look. Uh, <coughs> for reviews, yeah, I believe they generate uh, a unique coupon code. So, like people can't abuse it, right? So, like let's say uh, it's like. Uh, maybe the coupon code is like Shan three off, <coughs> something like that. And then, oh, I know it. Then I'll share it with everybody else, right? So that's uh, so. So this plugin allows you to generate a unique coupon code. Okay, and the and then the last thing we I I think this is the last slide for this plugin. It allows you to send a manual uh, reminder. Allows you to send a manual reminder. Okay, so maybe you see if maybe the customer you know has already received the product and then you want to send it to them you want to send the email to them earlier or something like that you can do it uh, in the system itself in your woocommerce orders page okay and they, they will actually tell you uh, is there a reminder email that is going to be sent out and is has there been a reminder email has there been a review email being sent out to them already okay so and and you know there's so much features in this plugin. You know I, I just do not understand sometimes like how 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 can such a powerful feature be free? It's a lot of value for free. Yeah, it's a lot of value here. Yeah. Another question is uh, how can Lazada and the Q10 be so awful? <laughs> yeah, that's that's why you know. Uh, <laughs> I think you 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 gotta ask <laughs> the the so site developers. What's the name of this plugin? It's called customer reviews for WooCommerce. Yeah. Sorry, because I, I left out the slide. Do uh, you guys need to take any photos? Uh, take down any notes, please do. Yeah. All right. So uh, the, the last one here is called uh, WooCommerce no shipping message. Okay. Just now for those who raised up your hand, right, that you are e-commerce uh, business owner. Okay. How many of you only sell in Singapore? Okay, you only sell in Singapore, right? Do you have customers from maybe, uh, let's say, Vietnam who contact you and say, hey, you know, uh, can I buy this product from you? I try to check out, you know, there's no shipping option. Do you get that? Sometimes. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, it's, don't you feel like, oh, you know, I have a potential customer and then I, I can't sell to them, right? So, it's like, you know, it's like money, you left money on the table, you know? So, this is what it does to kind of, uh, it doesn't really solve the problem, but it helps uh, in a way. So, uh, then again, it's free, and then it shows a custom message when customers uh, chooses a delivery address in a region, right, that you don't have any shipping methods that is linked to that address, uh, to, that, to that area. Okay, so maybe it's like, uh, sir, what's your name? Mark. Mark. Okay, so Mark runs an e-commerce store and then he says, uh, I only sell in Tampines. I don't sell to Jurong and, and Woodlands. Okay, so he can indicate inside uh, that says, uh, let, he only 
have a shipping method for Tampines or something like that. And then, and then somebody, like maybe I stay in uh, Woodlands and then I try to go to Mark's store and then I try to buy and then there isn't anything, right? So what happens is that uh, I will be shown a, a custom message that Mark crafted, okay? And then what I will usually do, right, is I'll insert a hyperlink to my contact page and then that's where they will uh, maybe put in what they want to buy from me, right? And then uh, they can send me an email and then I'll quote them a custom uh, shipping fee for them, okay? So that way you don't lose out customers, right? Okay, so the next one is, uh, yeah, so the, the best practice, right? To insert a link to the contact us page for customers to reach out to you. Okay, so uh, this is how it looks like. So if it's before, you know, uh, if you don't have this plugin installed, this is what it looks like. And then once you install it, you can put a custom message like that. So maybe it's too bulky, maybe the customer uh, order too much products from you, right, which is a good problem, right? And then you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to miss out on the customer. Maybe you use a, a courier service, and then they only ship up to like 20, 30 kgs, and then you have something uh, bigger, right? Then you want to use that as well. Okay, so I I promise you guys a bonus, right? Okay, so this is a bonus for you. I would say that this is a bonus, okay, but the bonus is actually WooCommerce, <laughs> right? So the bonus is actually WooCommerce. Why am I saying this? Because I know many of you never actually go and play into the settings. Uh, there's actually a lot of things that you can do with the core plugin itself, okay? So let me talk about it. So once again, it's free. There's upsells and cross-sells. Do any of you know this? That there's actually an upsell and cross-sell feature? Okay, great. Some of you do know that, okay? You can customize emails. How many of you know that? You know the receipt emails that you receive. You know you, you 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 can brand it, right? Put your logo on it. Put change the colors. You know that's what you can do with WooCommerce, right? And this is uh, one of uh, my other WooCom uh, WooCommerce site. So I talk about the receipt email, right? So it looks like this. Okay. So uh, this is actually the email to the admin. So when I open this up, then I see this, oh, I'm very happy. Awesome, a new order comes in, right? <laughs> okay, so you can put in your logo, you can custom the text over here, you can change the things up here as well, okay? And then uh, in, your, in your cart page, in your checkout page, uh, you want to put something what we call like a step-by-step uh, step step checkout, something like that. So the customer know how many steps they are, are they going to go through. If it's like 10 steps, it's, you know, nobody want to buy, right? So it's like three step, like review card, billing and shipping, and then you reach the payment. So that's, you know, what I do is just, I, I just insert the image on the page itself. Okay. And then, uh, so this is the upsell and the cross-sell, upsell and cross-sell. So that's uh, WooCommerce. Okay. So that's all uh, I have. So uh, before, I, before I get there, any, any questions? Yeah. Uh, what would you recommend for SEO? Uh, SEO, uh, in what aspect? Because uh, to be honest, uh, SEO is quite wide, uh, quite broad. Uh, in, in what aspect are you so looking there at? There is a plugin Yoast yeah. that I've been reading about. Yeah. Do you have any opinions on Yoast? Okay, I do use uh, Yoast, but actually I do use a, a few other plugins as well. Uh, one of them is called uh, Redirection. So sometimes, uh, how many of you have products? Uh, that that you sell and then and then you you decided to stop selling. By the way, how many? Am I over time now? No, 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 you're okay. Uh, yeah, how many of you have a product that you sell and then you decided I, I don't want to sell that anymore? Like, and you want to discontinue the product? Anybody have, has that happened to you? Okay, great. So what you want to do is that. Uh, sometimes you've been building your SEO, right? So you have people going to this product page itself. And then uh, that's what we call like, hey, there's uh, some, some uh, SEO uh, juice over there, right? So if you delete the product, right? And then what happens is the, the visitor goes to the website, it will reach an error 404, 
Okay, so this is actually very very common with e-commerce websites because products always change. Today you sell Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 10 or something like that. I don't know what number is it now, uh, but iPhone X and then now it's like XR, XS, something like that. And then, you know, maybe the next year they decided not to sell this product anymore, right? And then you lose that. So what you're gonna do is use the a redirection plugin that, that I use, that, that's what I use, and do a 301 uh, redirect. And then uh, you're talking about Yoast, right? Yoast is great for uh, on-page SEO. On-page SEO. Okay? What other kind of SEO is there? Um, maybe on. I can add a bit about Yoast as well. So I know the CEO of Yoast, they, they grew from a two people company to uh, 50, 60 right now. Uh, I think now they're close to 100 right now. So they, uh, they are based, the uh, claim to claim, the to claim is the automation. So like you say, the home page uh, uh, automation so on. So if you're asking for a plugin, uh, how do I get from like shitty SEO to something that's decent? Um, just get your study. You don't really have to think about it. This, this is the one you're going to use. Uh, yeah. I would not recommend it at an enterprise level because it's a complicated plugin with a lot of code bases. Uh, and the UI changes a fair bit. So they're trying to train a team of 30 to use it. And then two versions later, they change the entire UI if you get used to it. But as a single user running a store or running a small yeah. company, I think it's totally great. There's also plugins that allow you to use, uh, you know, uh, that does better SEO with videos, with WooCommerce, with tons of other stuff that I think they upsell. But the base version of it is great. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, it, it allows you to sort of uh, create a, a custom template for your title and, and all that kind of stuff. And then there's also uh, a feature where you can actually insert a, a custom Facebook uh, image as well. Okay, so when you share on Facebook, you have a nice, uh, uh, you know, uh, link, sorry, a, a picture of your, uh, maybe it's a, a blog post or something like that. So that's, that's why you want to use uh, yours for that. Uh, but like uh, John says, right, uh, you know, every two or three updates, they, they do change the menus and then uh, so, you know, if, if it's a, a client using, you know, then they'll have a lot of problems they after that. Remove features as well. They had a redirection part of their plugin as well, yeah. which they removed and they'll put into a premium version. So there's yeah. occasionally little bugs. There was one a couple of months ago where they linked out every single image on your website. Yeah, was that was big the problem. big... That was a huge problem for me. Oh, yeah. So the good thing about them is that they keep coming out with new versions because they know where SEO is going. So when Google decides to mess up everyone's SEO, they are ahead of the, the curve. Okay. Yeah, but they are also uh, changing it so much for you that it's a bit hard to catch up. Yeah, so you, you have to kind of stay in the game to kind of know <coughs> what's going on. I think the, the, the what Shan talked about, that was a huge problem uh, is, is that your 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 images also get cropped by Google, and then sometimes your your results, the people click on that, right? It goes to your image, it doesn't go to your website, <laughs> so <laughs> and then you you're losing a lot of customers there, and then uh, it, you know it, it affects your SEO quite a bit. Okay, so uh, that's all I have. Uh, so you can download the slides here by there's a QR code, and then uh, you can connect with me, right? So this is my website, okay, and then I have a Facebook. Uh, and also Twitter as well. And I'm also frequently on Quora and Reddit. So if you see some of my posts there, do give me some karma points if you, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I have a link here. So if you can't scan the code, uh, it's uh, decisivemarketer.com forward slash WP29. Okay. Anything else? I think I have one more slide. Yeah. Let me take a look. Oh, sorry. Uh, That's all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks.